Hello YouTube and welcome to this new video. Today I will be showing you PeerOS, a desktop operating system inspired by macOS. It is based on Ubuntu 13.04. PeerOS offers a new desktop environment inspired by macOS and some applications that may help you in your everyday use. But let's start with installing it on a new VirtualBox virtual machine. As we boot into PeerOS installation disk, we will be brought to a grab interface that lets us choose to try the system or install it. We are going to install it for this test. As soon as the system loads, we will see something really close to the Ubuntu installer, because it is. And this is just one of the many similarities these two systems share. If you are already used to the Ubuntu installer, then this will be just as easy because it is the same thing. If you are not, there is no problem. This setup is really easy. You will be guided through the installation process in a clear and simple way. Even a kid could do it. When the installation was complete, I had to reboot my virtual machine manually. This could not be needed while installing on a real machine. As soon as the system is booted, we will be brought to a login screen. By experience, I can surely tell that this is GDM, the GNOME default display manager. If you have ever used one of the latest version of macOS, you will instantly notice that the desktop environment is really close to the Mac experience without being perfectly identical. The environment seems to be based on Cinnamon, or at least a heavily modified GNOME. The dock is probably Cairo, while the other apps are about the same you will find on Ubuntu. The file manager is now tools, nothing fancy about that. One app that took my attention was the Launchpad, that should be an iOS-like launcher, and only app launcher in PeerOS, along with the search button on the top panel and obviously the dock. But for some reason this launchpad thing actually looks like more the GNOME Shell application view. I don't know. One cool thing is the notification tray on the top right corner. Having all notification in the same place it was one great idea. Not original, but still true. While I was busy playing with the panel applets, the update app popped out, telling me that I had to update the OS, with a nice but still awkward looking interface. You see, the applets are about the same you can find on Ubuntu, except for the notification tray and the useful search bar, surprisingly faster than Unity's dash. Same thing for the settings, it is GNOME Control Center, the same uh, well, Ubuntu uses. But let's see some original apps. Well, they have the exact same look of their Mac counterpart, but yeah, it's fine. The Contacts app may look easy, but the buttons on the bottom freaked me out. I couldn't figure out their function, so I just play with them until I found the Help button. The Peer PPA Manager doesn't work. Oh well. And for some reason the Terminal app refuses to use the app menu. This is getting interesting.
waiting for the terminal to do an APT update. Don't even know why I did that. I exposed my Pier 6, a built-in customization app. Do not expect something extreme, just some a little bit less basic settings. The default music app is music. Again, nothing impressing. One particular thing about PRS is an integrated cloud service. But from what I have seen until now, I can just suppose it shouldn't be far from Ubuntu One Cloud Storage. So, what do I think about PROS? Well, after all, it isn't that bad. I mean, it is still Ubuntu, you can install whatever apps you want, but out of the box it is nothing special, it is just one customized Ubuntu version, and I wouldn't suggest to install it to anyone. But just because there is already Ubuntu, that is, as I said many times, the same thing. The OS I tried was still not complete. Some features I wanted to try, like the PPA manager or the customization, the theme manager, were not working, and this is quite bad. I hope to see PROS develop more, and I hope to see it being just better and a fully different operating system. So guys, that's all for now, I hope you enjoyed this video, please press the like button if you did and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Thanks for watching and see you next time with a new video.